Okay, this is Dr. Piana. I'm going to give you a couple of case studies of uh, thermography with multiple sclerosis. Uh, the picture that we're seeing in front of us here is a woman. Uh, she was actually a patient of mine. You can see that her upper extremity, uh, as far as most things go, are relatively normal. Uh, just maybe take a look here at the left wrist, perhaps. Uh, but left lower extremity here is uh, severely hypothermic compared to the right side and especially seen by the anterior view here you can't even see the foot or part of the leg so that's uh, one case study of a woman that we've had I've seen this with several cases of multiple sclerosis in the past I have another case here that I'm showing you uh, you can see the lower leg here uh, into the medial thigh as well uh, is hypothermic this is a separate patient um, so you can see that the extremities definitely suffer some form of uh, hypothermia in all of the cases that I've observed, which isn't that many, maybe 10 cases overall. Uh, but you can see that in the literature, when I just did a, a search on the internet, I came up with some articles. This one is a um, case study of a woman with hypothermia with multiple sclerosis. Uh, obviously, I think they're talking about hypothermia, hypothermic state where the body goes cold. Um, there's some linkage here with multiple sclerosis and venous return from the vein as studied uh, by Zamboni in Italy, showing that the blood flow from the brain was reduced on uh, venous return to the heart. Uh, and then there was another article here somewhere too as well. So researchers are testing a new theory that multiple sclerosis is caused by blockages in the vein that drain the brain uh, and bring the, obviously the blood back to the heart. Uh, not really the premise of my article, but I, I, my video here, but I felt it was interesting to show you that. Uh, but back to what I was trying to show you originally. Um, when you see hypothermia of a large scale in one side of the extremity, uh, definitely look more central nervous system. Uh, I've had e even similar cases of this with ALS as well. And I'll see if I can dig that up for you as well.